Well, Dr. Seuss is best known for children's books. He wrote his first in 1931. It went unpublished, unlike dozens of the books that followed. Yeah, and while you're familiar with those, some of Dr. Seuss's work is new to nearly all of us. His secret work is part of an exhibit that opens in Omaha today. Oh, it just gets you excited, doesn't it? Secret work. Valerie Jackson is a noted expert on the artworks of Dr. Seuss. And John Rogers, we know John. He owns Gallery 72. Right. Good morning to both of you. Thanks for stopping Welcome by. Back. Good morning. Thank great to meet you. Oh, you. Yeah, Thank nice you for to meet you. Us. So, would you tell what's the concept of this exhibit? Well, we brought this exhibit from Atlanta. We are we have the largest exhibit in the world that has been published by his wife, Audrey Geisel. And uh, Dr. Seuss wanted to share his work with the world. He wanted them to be able to afford it, but he didn't want to be alive when it happened. Mm. So Audrey picked us to be one of 35 galleries in the world to have the art of Dr. Seuss. Mm. And it started with six pieces and we're now up to about 140 pieces. Wow. So it's a collection of, of course, the book illustrations that we're all familiar with, mm -hmm. his private paintings that we, we call the midnight paintings. It's his secret art. They're a little more adult and we have his unorthodox taxidermies. We have one in front of us now. <laughs> uh -huh. This the, is really cool. He's awesome. Yeah. He's the Mulberry Street Unicorn. We have an image of one of, of another one here, but yes. tell us more about the one you brought in, Valerie. Well, this, is the, this is the Mulberry Street Unicorn, which was from his first book. Just, Can I face him yeah, to oh, the camera? Absolutely. I'm allowed to touch him, Absolutely. Right? So in the 30s, his father was a superintendent of the zoo in Springfield. So he grew up going to the zoo with his dad. So when Ted Geisel, who is Dr. Seuss, moved to New York City, his dad sent him boxes full of horns and beaks and whatnots from uh -huh. the animals that had perished. Wow. So he took plaster out of his closet and reincarnated these creatures back to life using the actual parts of the animals. I don't think you realize how talented Dr. Seuss was. Well, that's what this collection is going to show the, uh, people in Omaha. Mm -hmm. It's very diverse. He had a very a huge imagination. Um, he, he, he did a lot of political pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, he's won documentaries um, and, and he's won uh, Academy Awards for documentaries that mm. he did about World War II. Um, so there's a lot to him. A lot, yeah, a lot to him. The we secret have, art, I don't, I don't know, is the, this the we, secret art that, what, that we're looking at right yes, now? Yes, that is a secret art piece there. Um, he did these at night when he wasn't working on his, on his children's books, mm. which he found to be very stressful. So the, the children's books were stressful. They were stressful. He, so he, he enjoyed took his, that. He took his mind to a different place with he this. He did. This, he did. And like this was inspired by Jackson Pollock. He went to wow. the, the to the show in New York City in the late 60s and went home that night and started working on this piece. Mm -hmm. So this is his only what we call drip painting. Yeah, I wouldn't look at this and thank Dr. Seuss. No. No, but again, right. that's the point. But if you look that's at the, the little point. creature in there, mm -hmm. you know, you know what? It's making yeah. sense. We do have a couple of other pieces here mm -hmm. in studio that mm -hmm. I know we're going to look at. And, and maybe, I don't know, do they better reflect what we that, grew up it's, with? It's a cross section. Well, mm -hmm. the, that, that, that's himself. That's called Portrait of a Young Man Shaving. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. Dr. Mm -hmm. Seuss himself. And he did most of his thinking in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. So he kept files in there where he would tuck his ideas away. So he might come back to something 20 <laughs> years later and a book would come to oh, mind. Wow. wow. So we have a second piece here too, yes, Valerie. Yes, the you second tell us about piece it. over here is one of the book illustrations, and this is of course from a very famous book that was done in '57, Green Eggs and Ham. Mm -hmm. And there's your Sam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So these pieces um, are they just for display? Because no. you mentioned something about the sale after he passed. He didn't want it to happen. He all never in his wants life. to sell the originals. He didn't and mm -hmm. neither does his wife Audrey. So she has archived everything. And a lot of the pieces are still in their home or at the University of San Diego where he built a library to house his work. So she is uh, publishing the collection, meaning she has created limited edition numbered pieces so people can afford to purchase them. Mm -hmm. And they're very low in number, which gives mm -hmm. them incredible investment value. But the secret art, when was that? Uh, he didn't want that to come out until after he passed he away. He didn't want any of his art How? to come. Well, he, he didn't want he it to be published. He died in 1991. So is he that died when that? In, in, yes, in that's nine, correct. 1991. Yeah. Is that when and that? Then, and then they went through a series of years where they were formulating what to do with the work and how mm -hmm. to publish it. And there, there's a company that came and said, we can handle this for you. And 
and you know his widow uh, was very pleased with that idea, and so they started publishing. Yes. The Why work. did you? Uh, we've talked to her so much here, John. I yes. feel like we've left. <laughs> we've got about a minute here. Explain why, of all the things you could bring in to Gallery 72, this caught your eye. Well, this is one of the examples of bringing work that has a national, even international, flavor to Omaha, and it's work that we would normally not be able to see, not be able to observe and enjoy. And so it's a good chance. It's a show. I, I get a lot of calls. Is there a fee to come into the show? No. Mm -hmm. We welcome anyone to come down to the gallery, um, come in, bring kids. It's great work for the kids. It's great work for adults. Uh, but all of the work that's there is available for purchase. Mm -hmm. So. And it's today through Sunday. It opens at 10 o'clock here, so you've got to get, you've got to go. <laughs> it's yes. from 10 to 6 o'clock, today through Sunday, at Gallery 72 at 18th and Vinton, and then online, gallery72.com. Really neat collection. Thank and you. Dahlia, thanks for Thank coming. You. All the way from my, Georgia, right? All the way from Georgia. From Georgia. Yeah. I could not wait to get here. <laughs> We're glad to have you. <laughs> We're happy to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, John. John good, good to see you. you. Thank you. So the movie, Coach Carter, stars Samuel L. Jackson.